We all have to deal with stress. Whether our life is being threatened in a disaster or we're just late for an important meeting, we need mechanisms to cope with all types of stress. It is commonly said that life is not what happens to us, but how we choose to react to what happens to us. Today, we're going to talk about healthy versus unhealthy coping mechanisms and how you can use these strategies to help yourself or share them to help others. Welcome to Mental Health Collaborative, a nonprofit organization dedicated to educating our community in mental health literacy. We believe that a foundational education about mental health promotion and understanding mental health and mental illness will lead to more resilient communities and decreased stigma. We believe that mental health literacy is a right and need of everyone. Thank you for joining us. When we are faced with too much stress or are having difficulty dealing with stress, using healthy coping mechanisms can allow us to feel in control, calm, and ready to handle whatever is causing us stress. On the other hand, relying on unhealthy coping mechanisms may work in the short term, but ultimately may end up hurting our physical health, mental health, and even our relationships. Here are some of the healthy ways we can cope with stress. Box breathing is when we breathe in for four seconds, hold our breath for four seconds, then breathe out for four seconds, and hold our breath for four seconds. Repeating this several times. This technique slows down our breathing, which forces our heart to slow and activates the calming response in our body. Another technique called 54321 is in our heads, we list five things we see, four things we feel, three things we hear, two things we smell, and one thing that we taste. This technique helps ground us in the present moment and can slow down racing thoughts. Exercise of any type is another healthy coping mechanism. Exercise floods the body with endorphins and can help use up the adrenaline released from stress, clearing our heads and allowing us to feel calmer. Sometimes we are so overwhelmed with stress that we don't even realize how awful we feel. Writing down our feelings to acknowledge them and then making a plan to problem solve can help us tune into our thoughts and feelings and figure out an action plan. Taking a break from technology can help us to focus on our immediate surroundings, tune into how we are feeling, and connect live with others. Leaning on our relationships, talking about what is stressing us out, and asking for help are some of the best ways to cope with stress. It can be difficult to admit that we are struggling, but once we tell someone, we almost always feel better. Spending time with friends and family, even if we don't talk about our stress, can help us feel calmer and less overwhelmed by our circumstances. Gratitude is another helpful way to combat stress. When something is upsetting to us, it can help to be grateful for what is good in our lives. Doing an act of kindness can reduce stress as well. Acts of kindness flood our bodies with feel-good hormones, increase our sense of connectedness and purpose, and help us focus on problems other than our own. Here are some unhealthy coping mechanisms to watch out for and avoid. Alcohol and other substances can be used to dull or numb the pain of stress, but this effect is temporary, does not resolve the problem, harms us if we do it too much, and can become an addiction. Similarly, overeating or undereating creates an unhealthy relationship with food, can harm us by starving or overfilling our body and creating additional emotional stress. It fails to address what is actually stressing us out. Avoiding the problem by using social media, work, television, sleep, or other distractions can work to prevent us from thinking about our stress, but it does not resolve the stress. Social withdrawal and aggression are also unhealthy ways to cope with stress. We may withdraw if we are overwhelmed and do not have the energy to interact with others. However, interacting with others almost always helps relieve our stress. On the other hand, taking our stress out as aggression or aggravation toward others may leave our loved ones hurt and confused and may leave us feeling guilty about how we treated them. Finally, 
Self-harm is a dangerous way to cope with stress. If you or someone you know self-harms, please seek professional help immediately. Remember, we all face stress and difficulties in life. Using healthy coping mechanisms helps us deal with our stress in active, beneficial ways. There are always ways to problem solve and strategize, no matter what our stress may be. If you or someone you know is struggling to cope, see the resources below for how to get help. We hope you found this information helpful. We at Mental Health Collaborative are committed to providing education and increasing awareness about all of the interrelated states of mental health. We hope that by doing this, stigma decreases and more people get proper treatment and support for mental illnesses, learn when to get help, where to get help, and what to expect when they get there.